Hey, my name is Miss Kim, and I'm here to read a story to you today. I'm from the Newcastle Branch Library. Um, I thought before we started our story, though, that we could sing a couple songs together. Would you like to do that? Okay. I was thinking that one a lot of children enjoy and that they know is Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars. So let's start with that one, okay? Let's get your little stars ready, okay? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Nice work. That was great. Good job. Okay. Now, I thought another song that would be fun is the one about the frogs sitting on the log. And that's Counting Song. Do you know that one? Okay, well, if you don't, I'll teach it to you, okay? Um, we count, uh, we start at the larger number and we count down to the smaller number, okay? That's how this one works. So today, we're going to start with number three. But you can start with whatever number you want, like number five or four, okay? But we're going to just start with three, okay? So get your three frogs, and this is your log, okay? Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there are two speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one speckled frog. Club, club. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no speckled frogs. Glub, glub, or zero. Yeah. They all jumped into the pond. Okay. Shall we start our story? Let's do that. Yes, please. Okay. Our story today is called Bear Sees Colors. And it's, it's all about colors today. Okay. And some rhyming. So I'm going to get closer so you can see. Um, our book is written by Karma Wilson, she's the author, and Jane Chapman is the illustrator. Um, parents, I really recommend these bear books by Karma Wilson, they're wonderful. Yeah. And we have permission today to read this from Simon & Schuster, okay? So, here we go, Bear Sees Colors. Mouse and bear are walking. They are chitter, chatter, talking. So much for them to do. And the bear sees blue. Blue flowers by the trail, blue berries and blue pale. Blue, blue everywhere. Can you spy blue with bear? else do you see that's blue in our picture? Lots of blue water, right? What else? Maybe blue fish? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, they look like they're having so much fun, don't they? Bear is, anyway. Mouse is having fun, too, I think. Along the trail hops hare. Howdy ho there, mouse and bear. Hare points up ahead, and the bear sees red. Red blossoms, red cherries, red juicy raspberries. Red, red everywhere. Can you spy red with bear? Ooh, there is a lot of red in this picture. What do you see? That's red. Red flowers. 
I think I heard someone say red watering pail. Oh, and look at these. You see those little red mushrooms? Those are pretty. Do you see something up in the corner in the tree that's red? What do you see? A red bird and maybe some red cherries in the tree. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Badger's at the pond with his old galoshes on. Look there! Badger bellows and the bear sees. Can you think of a word that, a color word that rhymes with bellow? Bear sees yellow. It's yellow. Drippy, sticky, oh so yummy honeycombs with yellow honey. Yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like bear? Look at this. Big yellow honeycomb with yellow bees. Look at bear's face. He wants some honey, I think. Yellow flowers. Some kind of yellow fruit in the tree, I think. I'm not sure what that is, but it's pretty. Gophers out with mole. They're on a little stroll. Bear spots them by the stream. And the bear sees green. Green mint for making tea and green and tasty sweet peas. Green, green everywhere. Can you spy green with bear? You see some more green? How about the cups that bear and badger have? Those are green, aren't they? They have green on them. What's in this tree? Whoops. What's in the tree? Maybe some green apples, it looks like. Or they could be pears. Ooh. Okay, let's see what's next. Raven, Owl, and Wren lay a picnic in the glen. The friends all gather around and the friends see. What do you think they're going to see next? The friends all gather around and the friends see brown. Ooh, look at that. Chocolate cake, brown and sweet. Brown cookies, such a treat. Oh, wow, they are gonna have a nice picnic. Brown eyes, brown hair, friendly, fluffy, brown. What do you think they're talking about there? Brown eyes, brown hair, friendly, Fluffy, brown, bear. Yeah, he's brown and fluffy and friendly, isn't he? Oh my goodness, look at this picture. Colors, colors everywhere. Can you find colors just like bear? Look at how beautiful this is with all the colors. And look at what they're doing. They're having so much fun. Oops. I'm going to try to get super close so you can see. Tell me some colors that you see. Yeah, I see the colors that we talked about. Red, yellow, blue, brown, green. I see some other colors as well. Do you see some other colors? How about this one up in the corner? Who knows what that color is? Black. Black. Yeah. Wow, that's a fun book, and that they look like they are having so much fun. All right. That's the end. The end. All right. I am so glad that you were here to listen to my story today. 
And I would like for you to spend the rest of the day, if you can, looking around your house and around your yard and pointing out colors to your mom and dad and your, and your sisters and brothers or grandma and grandpa or your child care person, whoever is there with you. Tell them the colors that you can see everywhere because colors are everywhere. I'm so glad you were here and I will see you again soon. Bye.